that unfortunately you might be somebody watching this video right now who gets lag when they play Roblox or especially when they play Royal High. As many of you might not already know, the reason we have 15 player limits on Royal High is because the game is notorious for high graphics, beautiful over the top things and unfortunately being majorly laggy sometimes. So today you guys, I am going to teach you how you can de-lag your game, especially on a Windows computer. But if you're on mobile, some of these tips will help you as well, so that you can hopefully be able to enjoy the game a little bit more, and also not worry so much about mega mega lagging. Hey everyone, I'm Dolly and me and B recently found out that lots of you guys are not able to be able to buy rare books in Royal High so that you can buy the fancy game passes for extra diamond multipliers and all of the other extras that you get when you have a game pass. To help some of you guys out, we are going to be doing some rare books giveaways to support all of you wonderful little beans to be able to buy some of the game passes. If you guys would like to be able to win these rare books, all you have to do is subscribe to this channel, leave a like on the video and comment down below your rare books username. And then we will message some of you guys on Roblox so look out for those messages and friend requests you guys to be able to give you your Roblox code so that you can redeem it and get yourself some of the game passes or whatever you'd like to buy with the Roblox. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like and comment your username down below. Good luck little beans! Hello wonderful little beans, my name is B, and welcome back to another video. You guys, I'm so excited because today I am finally getting to make a video showcasing how I de-lagged my Roblox. As many of you know, in my early videos, my Roblox would lag sometimes, and I know that lots of you guys also experience lag when playing the game. So I really wanted to help you guys out with some tips and tricks on how you can make your game look pretty, but without losing out on the FPS. So first things first, we're gonna say hi to Dolly, and then I'm gonna start with each step that you guys can take to improve your gameplay and stop your Roblox lag. Hey everyone, I'm Dolly and welcome back to another video. Have you left a like, subscribed and commented your Roblox username down below yet? No? Why not? You could win some free Robux. Make sure you do it you guys and make sure you check your messages or your friend requests on Roblox to see if you are the winner and have been sent them. And also comment down below and tell us if you won you guys so all the little beans can see that you won because sometimes people think these giveaways are fake for some reason so it'd be nice if people could see that you actually won so they don't think that we're faking them because why would we fake them we want to help the little beans out you guys and also as always we'll try and reply to as many of your comments as we can and leave some hearts on them we love you guys and you're awesome absolutely you guys thank you so much to everybody that's entered the giveaway so far i really wanted to do the giveaway mainly just to help you guys out so that some of you can get some of the game passes and things or even use the robux on a different game if you want to but lots of you guys said that you didn't have game passes in royal high and i wanted to be able to help you out so i decided to do some robux giveaways I really hope it helps you guys in the future and thank you so much for all of your love and support on all my videos And also it's a nice way for me to be able to say thank you to the community So you guys want to know how to de-lag your game. So let's go ahead and get started First of all, I wanted to say before I get started in this video If you are somebody who has an Xbox or PlayStation For those of you guys that don't know you can actually play Roblox on consoles So if you have an Xbox for example, you can actually download Roblox for free on your Xbox and play your favorite Roblox games on your Xbox on your TV and that definitely will not lag. So if you want a way to be able to play Roblox you guys and maybe you don't have another device but you don't want to play it on a phone, you could actually play it on your Xbox if you wanted to and I feel like you'd really enjoy that because obviously it won't be as laggy as a mobile device. So next up we are going to talk about Windows computers first and how to de-lag your computer and then we are going to talk about obviously mobile devices. Unfortunately, I can't really offer many tips for Mac users. If you are on a Mac, all I can say is lower your settings as low down as they can possibly go so your Mac doesn't explode, you guys. But if you are on a Windows computer, these next things are going to help you. So, first things first, you guys, head on into your graphics settings. If you are someone who wants the game to be pretty, but doesn't want to have mega lag, set your graphics settings to two points below the highest. So instead of full, just go to this one here, which is eight, you guys. As you can see, the game still looks super pretty, but the textures got just a teeny bit less shaded. So there's still high quality textures, you guys, but without the crazy shading. Not having those crazy shadings, you guys, between the textures makes a huge difference for your lag. Look at how much smoother the game runs when you don't have those shadings. Having that tiny bit of shading actually causes a little bit more lag. I'm not entirely sure why, you guys, but it does. So if you want your game to still look beautiful, but not have, obviously, that little bit of lag that you get in the game, maybe your computer is okay, but not super good, then turn it down to eight points. If you are someone, though, 
who is really suffering with lag, make sure you have turned off the automatic graphic settings, you guys, and control them manually. You can turn them all the way down, and you'll see that the game actually isn't that ugly. I mean, the water's a little bit gross, but everything else is still pretty pretty. The way that it helps you to de-lag if you turn it all the way down is it stops stuff from really far away from rendering in look. So that way it doesn't have all that gameplay and all those graphics and all that information all in at once causing lag. So really you won't lose that much of your gameplay and some people even like playing like this you guys just because of how bright the game becomes when you lower those graphics. If you are someone though who would really like to be able to play in high graphics I do have one other suggestion for you. If you are using a Windows 10 computer or tablet, you guys, head on in to your Windows Store. The Windows Store looks a little bit like this, and as you can see, it shows you some different apps that you can download, you guys. If you go up to the search window and type in Roblox, you'll actually be able to find a Roblox app. If you go ahead and click on it, you guys, you'll be able to see there is actually a Roblox app in the Windows 10 store. Now, you might be wondering why would I want this, but Roblox recently launched the mobile app, you guys, from the mobile devices into the Roblox official web store inside of the Microsoft Store on Windows 10. So you can actually play the mobile version of the game on your computer. You might be wondering why this would be good, but it's actually much less laggy. So go ahead and hit play once you've downloaded it. And as you can see, Roblox launches up. Now, if you do play on mobile, you'll be able to recognize this, you guys. I'm actually on my second account here, which is what I use when I record role plays. Obviously, when it loads in, you'll be able to see that it actually looks just like if you were playing on a mobile device. And that is fine, you guys. There's not really anything wrong with that because mobile devices tend to lag less because the games are less intense. So if we then go over to my home page, obviously, because we'll be able to see Royal High on there since that is my main game. We'll go ahead and join the game, you guys, so that you can see. Obviously, you can see it loads up just like on mobile. And as you can see, I'm a bacon, but I am now logged in to Royal High, you guys. The sensitivity is a bit higher on this version of the game, so I'm going to go ahead and lower it down. And you may not want your graphics on full. Like right now, I do have them on full which can be a bit laggy in this version but as I said before lower your graphics down a little bit when you're playing on this mobile app version and even though it might not be as high quality as the full Windows version of Roblox as you can see it is much much less laggy you guys than the full version of Roblox because obviously it is running a mobile app version of the game and you guys lots of people have been talking about this Windows client version especially because you don't have to have a web browser open too having a web browser open like Google Chrome or maybe you have Edge or something else open at the same time as playing a game can actually cause you lag as well. So it can actually de-lag you, you guys, if you don't use a web browser open. But if you are playing normal Roblox, you actually have to tab out of your game to close the web browser. And then every time you want to switch game, you have to open the web browser back up. Obviously, because Roblox on PC uses the web browser to play. And when you press play, it opens the client. That means the app that you play on. But you guys, obviously, in the mobile version like this, all the games are inside. So if we hit escape on this and press leave game, just like on mobile, we don't have to close all of Roblox. We can go over to games on the left and then head on in to the next game. As you can see, they all show up just like they do on mobile devices. Obviously, if you guys are playing on Roblox on the browser, as you know, you've got to have this page open on a separate browser to go through everything. And then when you open a game, it launches up the game. And then you have to close that game down, obviously, to then go into another one because you have to open up the browser again. This is a much easier way to have the app version because then you don't have to leave the game to open the browser. And having the browser open actually can lag your computer. So sometimes the mobile app version is actually more useful and less likely to lag. Now for the suggestions for mobile players. If you are on a mobile device, you guys, my first suggestion is to consider the device you're using. Now, obviously, not everybody has multiple devices, so you can't always decide what device you're going to use. If you only have an iPhone or an Android phone or a tablet or an iPad, you're obviously going to have to use that device. But if you are somebody who maybe earns an iPhone and an iPad, consider how new each device is and probably play on the newest device. If they're about the same age, you guys, the iPad is probably going to be slightly more powerful than your phone. So obviously, choosing to play on your phone obviously it will lag probably a bit more than the ipad unless you've got an older ipad and a newer phone then obviously you should play on the newer device but if they're about the same age then an ipad is less likely to lag and as many of you might know this already princess royale and i'm a gamer girl both create all of their videos on their ipads you guys so you can see that ipads can actually be pretty good to be able to play roblox in so if you're a mobile player a lot of the time you just need to lower your graphics down to be able to enjoy the game now don't let anybody tell you that you need to have 
have super mega high graphics to enjoy games like Royal High or any other Roblox game. You don't you guys, Roblox can be enjoyed with any graphics setting. So if you are lagging, I definitely suggest that you do lower your graphics down. All you need to do is go into settings, turn off the automatic graphics setting and then press the minus or the plus to lower it or make it higher. And then you guys will be able to enjoy your Roblox experience by customizing it to be best for you. Good luck to all of you, I hope these tips help you. My biggest tip is to definitely close any other apps on your computer or device you guys that you aren't using. If you're on mobile, if you're on PC, whatever it might be, close down your apps. You do not need to keep apps open that you don't need open on your computer while you're playing because they might cause lag to your Roblox just because they're in the background all running at the same time. Fingers crossed these help you though guys and if these tips do help let me know in the comments down below and fingers crossed you all get to enjoy your gameplay with a little bit less lag and a little bit more fun and hopefully it will definitely help you with the Easter game as well since obviously lagging in the Easter game is not very fun. Thanks so much for watching this video little beans. If you found it helpful in any way please do remember please do remember to leave a like on the video. We're going to aim for 2 150 as always and of course hit that subscribe button we are almost at 90,000 subscribers and we'll be giving away one of the beautiful spring halos in obviously as soon as we hit 90k thanks so much everybody i love you all lots and i'll see you all in the next video but first before we go a small reminder from dolly make sure you enter the roblox giveaway you guys all you have to do is like subscribe and comment your roblox username down below we can't wait to give some of you some more roblox absolutely everyone thanks for watching you guys and i'll see you all soon goodbye